And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again, and today we're going to take a look at the final results for the finally released Doom. No longer in beta, no longer beta drivers. These are all the official drivers from both companies, both AMD and NVIDIA. We're both ready for day one with drivers for this game. So let's kind of go through the settings, and then we'll talk about how things shook out once we uh, threw them all in the frying pan. Now, these are the settings that we used for the game. Note the resolution right now is set to 1920 by 1080. That's just for screenshot purposes. Uh, V-Sync is off. Anti-aliasing is SMA-A. And field of view was set to 90. Motion blur left on high. Now we go over to the advanced settings. Go down. We set it to the static overall quality to ultra. So everything on here is at the ultra preset. So... If you set it to Ultra, these are the settings you're going to get. Now, jumping into the performance itself, we're going to take a look at 1080p first. Now, at 1080p, we only threw the 380 and the 960 in here to see kind of how they stacked up. Now, they kind of performed pretty much on par with each other. The 380 was slightly behind the 960, which, honestly, I was a little bit surprised, but not entirely based on the results that we saw with the beta. Now at 1440p we threw every graphics card that we have together and of course the 380 and the 960 round out the bottom of it but surprisingly the 390 was extremely close to it not performing very well at all whereas in the beta it performed great so this leads me to think there's something going on with the drivers. Now the breakout star of the 1440p is well, not the 980 Ti, even though it's way out there in the lead. The GTX 980 actually surprised me the most. We're looking at right at Fury X level performance, which is quite impressive. Now, leaving 1440p, we're going to go to 2160p, or better known as 4K gaming resolution. We've got, we dropped off the 380 and the 960, leaving us with the 390 through the 980 Ti. Now, the 390 is the very bottom here at 14 minimum and then an average of 28 FPS, so below that magical 30 mark. Now, this uh, kind of separated that 980 from its nice stance that it had with 1440p, but it did close in the gap between the Fury X and the 980 Ti, which was pretty impressive. I mean, you're looking at a 5 FPS difference on the average so that was pretty good that the Fury X was able to pull that out now if you're wondering about what you can do to get better performance we did take the 980 Ti and just for kicks and giggles I overclocked it to about 1450 megahertz with the boost on it and plus 500 megahertz on the memory and dropped the MSAA and dropped it down to the high preset now that did get us at 4k because it's the only one we tested it out like that got us an average of 57 FPS with a minimum of 46 so much more playable at 4k at that resolution so the game seems to tend to react very well so if you're running a AMD card at the moment and you feel like your performance is a little bit lacking go ahead and drop it down to high you're probably gonna see a good boost in performance as well as very little to hardly note any noticeability between ultra and high so i'd give that a shot if you're a gtx uh, geforce owner you're in good shape so go enjoy this game because it is absolutely awesome and we will catch you guys in the next video this has been keith with wccf tech tv feel free to subscribe like comment and we'll catch you all in the next video